What's up guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to write data to a file using FS module in Node.js. So let's first see how to do it synchronously and then we will talk about how to do it asynchronously. So here we are first requiring the FS module and then we are using the write file sync function which will write this text to demo.txt file synchronously and if any error happens while writing the data we are just logging that uh, error on the console. Now a couple of important things to remember while writing data to a file is if the file already exists it will delete the old content and then write the new content and if the file doesn't already exist it will create that file for you and then write the content and while writing data to a file the default encoding is utf8 so we don't have to specify that so if i execute this file now it should create a file demo.txt and it should write this text to that file so let's just execute this file so let's just change the directory to write and clear out and node it's called write simple text.js and if we execute this it should create a demo.txt file and it should write the content let's write something so it created this file demo.txt and written that content as expected but if we try to write uh, to some other location where we don't have access to write uh, it will result in an error and in that case we will handle that error and we will print out that message so suppose I try to write a file demo.txt in the bin directory now it won't allow that because simple user don't have access to write uh, create any file in the bin directory so it will result in an error and we are catching that error and we will print out that console.log so let's write uh, execute this file now so clear and so we get uh, permission denied because we can't create a file in bin dot uh, bin directory so we can handle the errors using try catch and you should always use try catch while reading or writing data to file so let's see how we can read and then write to a file so here we are first reading the content uh, from a file and then we are writing that content to another file and both uh, using synchronous functions so here we are using read file sync to read the content of users.json which is here it's a 10,000 uh, users data random data from the random user API so we are first reading that data and then we are writing that data synchronously to users backup.json and we could have put this both in a sing single try catch but here we have used two try catch but you could have put that into one single try catch block so let's just execute this file and it should create users dot backup users backup json file in the current directory so let's execute this file so let's clear out and execute read write and it's sync.js so it created this users hyphen backup uh, dot json so it have all the data so that is there in the users dot json file so that's how we can read the content from a file and then write it to another file which is more common uh, practice while handling with files so we are using both the synchronous function in this case so let's see how we can use the asynchronous version to write uh, the file so here we have the async version so here again we are reading the users.json file and writing it to user slash backup.json and but this in this case we are using the sync asynchronous version for both read file and write file so while using the asynchronous version we specify uh, the data that we want to write and it will take a callback so if any error happens we will handle that error here so here we are using write file not the write file sync so let's just delete that file and 
execute this file so it should also create the same thing so it will create user slash user hyphen backup uh, dot json file in the current directory but only that in this case we are doing it asynchronously so let's just execute this file so node read write and async.js so it created users uh, backup.json file again the same thing but only uh, changes that we are writing this content asynchronously so if you have some uh, line of code here it will execute before we actually write the content to that file that's the difference between using synchronous function and using asynchronous function in the fs module so in the next one we will talk about how to append data to a file because while writing the data it deletes the old content and write the new content but in certain cases we don't want to delete the old content we want to keep it there and write the new content and append that content to the already uh, the content that is present in that file so we will talk about appending data to a file in the next one